Hi everyone, this is Miss Andrea. I am here at EcoStation and I am going to be doing a project you can do with your little ones. This is toilet paper roll sculptures and it's very, very easy. Really, the only materials you need are toilet paper rolls and scissors, but you can also add uh, decorative supplies. So if you want to decorate your toilet paper rolls, um, you can use all kinds of materials. I'll go over that in a minute. Just want to say thank you to our sponsors, the Catherine G. McGovern, McGovern Foundation, and the Wortham Foundation for today's project. So, as I said before, you can just use your toilet paper roll and your scissors, but if you want to add another component to this, you can decorate. Um, I use tissue paper on this, so I have some tissue paper here. Um, paint. I also uh, would I use markers. And if you'll notice, these are different sizes. So I also cut my toilet paper rolls to different sizes to give a little bit of variety. Uh, I like the idea of using maybe pom-poms to add a little bit of texture. Uh, straws, you could even use straws and put them on. You can glue them on there. So it just depends on what kind of things you like to do. You could do yarn, there's all any kind of materials. Even taking the tissue paper and instead of gluing it on straight like that, kind of crumpling it up and gluing it on and giving it some texture so that you have a, a wide variety of things. But it's really not necessary uh, because these are so much fun by themselves. And really all you're doing is you're taking your toilet paper roll and you are going to cut. Now, if they're not all the same size, sometimes it causes a problem. So you might want to take a ruler and measure out um, every time that you're going to cut so that they're the same size, but you can also eyeball it. Mines are all eyeballed. So sometimes it'll go off a little wonky. Um, if you're old enough to use the scissors, um, little ones can use this, even though um, they may not be perfect, they'll still work. So it's, uh, it's a good idea if you have your parent helping you, because you are using scissors or your parent can make the slits. So notice that I went on opposite sides so you can make as many slits as you'd like, excuse me, uh, but you don't want to make too many because you don't want to weaken it. So I make about four opposite sides. And then I do that with the other side. Now these don't have to be opposite. You can make them uh, anywhere that you like, but you do want to try to make at least four. And the reason is when you try to put these on, there needs to be two of them that can fit on that curve. So parents um, probably are going to be cutting the slits, but if you have some decorating, you can do all kinds of things with the glue, um, cutouts from magazines, even your own little drawings. Like you like butterflies or cars, you can do your own drawings on these. So it's really up to your own imagination because really the, the decorating is the secondary to the primary, which is the sculpture. When you do stuff like this, um, this really is good for children because it, it allows for spatial reasoning, which just means that instead of doing a drawing, which is two-dimensional, a sculpture allows three, uh, for you to see in, in three dimensions. And so it helps to um, have little ones see how things, how you can build things. Uh, like I said, you don't have to paint them. To me, I played around with these and where the magic comes in is just being able to go in any direction and do anything. Let your imagine take, imagination take over. And I think that that's the best thing, really. Uh, imagination is really where new ideas come from. We want our kids to be imaginative because Im imagination makes good scientists. It makes good writers. It makes good artists. It makes good engineers. So imagination is very important. When I look at these, I think, oh, which way could I go? And I start to build in different directions. You can really take this wherever. And if you have things that are decorated, um, you can go even further. If you have maybe uh, some, a child that really likes to build uh, cities, you could even paint them. I painted these black and I put some windows in them and you could even build little cities. You could build a whole little town out of these. I mean, and that's really where imagination takes over. So you could have something like this. Uh, you could even build an animal. How could we build an animal? Let's see. Let's take maybe some of these. 
maybe a small one. We're gonna connect those and see how the slits work really well together. If for some reason the slits aren't working, you can always make a new slit. How about that? You see the legs? This could even be like a camel. There's the head, there's the hump, but there's the legs. Really, to me, this is really about imagination and there's no set way to put these together. So it really allows to just, to just build, build, build. And you can get quite big with these. Can't get any, uh, any easier than having material that you're definitely gonna have at your house. Scissors and toilet paper rolls. I mean, it's really fantastic. And you can hook these up, balance them out. You see how easy that is? I just, all I'm doing is, if I'm putting on one side, I try to balance it out on the other side. So you might be looking at something like that. Um, you could go around, you could go up. How high could you go? I don't know. I think it really depends on your foundation. So maybe when you're building this, you say, oh, why did it fall over? Well, maybe it didn't have enough down here. We have to put more down here. So how could we put more down here? We can connect more. Can you see me? I'm having a great time. <laughs> this is a lot of fun. I think that you will find that it's a lot of fun. But not only is it a lot of fun, uh, there are so many combinations. Every single time you do this, you could have something different. So this is something that can be played with over and over again. It is something that can, you know, you have an idea, you see something outside, like, oh, I like the way that tree looks. Maybe I could redo it in my paper roll sculptures. And so let the imagination go wild. What could we build with this? Could we build a robot? Could we build um, a centipede? Could we build, what could we build? And that's what I really like about this because it's easy, it's versatile, and the combinations are endless. Um, there's the opportunity to decorate here in painting or texture, and then the opportunity to build and to do all kinds of sculptures. So I hope you enjoy this project. Um, I know I did. I had a lot of fun building stuff. I did all kinds of combinations, and I think that you will find that, um, that your child will also explore in that same kind of way. Just let them go. Let them take their imagination wherever it goes. So, I hope you enjoyed this. This is Miss Andrea, and I am signing off.